Enerban, in trying to differentiate schools of thought about consciousness, I like to ask, can consciousness as we understand it be non-biological? Because if you're a materialist and you believe that only the physical is real, I think you have to say absolutely yes, it has to be, because it's, consciousness is essentially functionalism and it doesn't matter the medium. If you are a dualist or religion or you believe something very special that consciousness is something magical, I don't mean that in a pejorative sense, I mean it, it to differentiate it from the material, then you have an option at least to say it may or may not be. As you look at your theory of how the universe is constructed, do you believe that consciousness in the form that we understand it can be non-biological? Yeah, so um, it depends on what do you call uh, biological, because um, uh, what I understand is that uh, from Planck world to the entire universe, everything is uh, vibrational, ch chain of vibration okay. and that is connecting everything. And then a conscious being means in the large string of vibrations, which, is, which scales 10 to the power 80 hertz of bandwidth from 10 to the minus 40 hertz to 10 to the plus 40 hertz. And we from 10, plus minus 10 to the power 10 hertz or 10 to the power 12 hertz, that means 10 to the power 24 hertz of bandwidth string that we are. Now, creating this string of vibrations is the key. So that means the kind of vibration that we observe in the microtubules, in DNA, in, in, the, in the proteins, if we could create this kind of composition and harmony in, with some material which is, which is not made of carbon, hydrogen, yeah, oxygen yeah, that yeah. we biologists are right. made of, we are with, with this silicon and all other kind of, right. kind of molecules or, or atoms or, or could be a very different kind of, kind of, kind of atoms, then who can stop us? Yeah. Nobody can stop us in making that kind of system. Right. So that, that would be then biological. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that would be biological, but for some people that is non-biological. Yeah, because you have an enlarged uh, definition of biological because you're dealing with rhythms yeah. and wherever you find them. Yeah, wherever you find them. Yeah, yeah. So if we say that the, uh, I find some set of rhythms in a particular kind of machines which is made of particular kind of atoms yeah, in a yeah, particular yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of way, yeah. that, that harmonizes with the, with the nature right. then, then that robot will be, will be conscious. There is, there is no doubt about it. But in doing so, isn't it becoming biological? Yeah. So it is at the same time non-biological, at the same time it is also biological. It's just a perspective yeah, of yeah. you. Basically, you don't care about the word biological. You're looking at a, a different set of criteria based on rhythms. Based on rhythms. And if the rhythms are there to produce the consciousness, it's conscious. It's, and you, you're not even addressing whether it's biological or not. You don't non -biological. care. Non-biological. I yeah. don't care. So yeah. some people would say it's biological. Some people would say it's not biological. And you don't care. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but you would, def you would get it to be conscious because the the bandwidth of, the, of yeah. the, the rhythms that it deals with is sufficiently large or dense or complex or something yeah. to integrate with the entire, the entire universe universes. Rhythm and yeah. vibrations. Right. So yeah. it can integrate. Yeah. Your theory of consciousness is rather different, I say that uh, as an understatement, compared to all the other theories of consciousness. Now that it's not necessarily a criticism because nobody really has a theory of consciousness that is holding much water in, in, uh, at, at the current time. But you have to admit that your theory of consciousness in terms of the relationship of the density or, or the uh, size of the bandwidth of, of, uh, of resonances compared to the universe is a, is, is a radical one. First of all, I have never proposed a, a theory of consciousness because uh, no one at this point in, in 2014 has defined what is consciousness and no one has dared to do so because you will find we are trying to do uh, define consciousness because it is not defined so when something is not defined you can't make a theory for that so that's the first part of the of your question's <laughs> answer second is that what i have suggested is that what the biological measurement in our laboratory have shown extending a triplet of triplet resonance bands so it is not just just two things that length of the resonance chain of vibration because we are suggesting that from the Planck world to the entire universe everything is chain of vibrations and life form is a chain of vibrations and then we try to harmonize this one with that one. This is just from the observation extension. This is not a theory. This does not say how actually the awareness, the feeling of awareness is born. 
So that's a misconception that I would like to say. So when somebody will propose a theory of consciousness, he must define how the awareness comes. Awareness comes means I can close my eyes, I can go to far distant place and I can evaluate myself anirban yeah. and he is thinking like this. So it's an out of body experience where it goes and its uh, senses uh, comes out. So those kind of particular peculiar physical phenomenon we need to explain and then we would suggest that is my theory. What I am suggesting is a physical process by which all the biological or non-biological elements or systems in the entire universe could be connected. So creating an interconnection between them and and the process how the system is evolving, the way we observe in our laboratory during the measurements that it is going beyond a certain, certain uh, con getting confined with, within a certain dimension of a, of, a, of a material. So under any circumstances, I, we cannot call this physical process that we are proposing that entire universe could be a chain of vibrations connecting from Planck world to the, inter, inter, uh, to the ultimate end of it, or the biological body could be a string of vibrations. This talks about how the hardware is in integrated, yeah. how it functions, how could we go beyond the materials observation or perspective. So it it suggests a, a protocol how the interaction is going on. But whoever proposes the theory of consciousness, they will have to suggest one, two, three, four, five, six criteria, like how the outer body experience is produced, how you could take your mind to a far distant place and try to get an answer. I'm not looking at an answer for that. I'm trying to understand how this processing could be, how how the hardware is basically created, how a life force is driving. I'm trying to get a much smaller answer to much smaller questions, like, like what is memory in your brain? It could be a rhythm, it could be a cycle. Many, many rhythms are going on in your brain with the vibration chain, it is connected. As soon as something is thrown to you, it is creating a repulse. That's how your memory is created. How you can imagine, how can you, creative thought can come to your mind. So these are the, some of the very basic elementary questions we could not answer in the last 100 years. And if you see in the 21st century, what are our prime questions? You will find out of top 10 questions, six of them are from the human brain. Yes. That what is thought, what is memory, yeah. what is... So I just want to answer these simple basic questions which remained unanswered. So my take is about that. But several people, put these criterions as part of consciousness, study your consciousness things. So that's why these are entangled. Yeah. That's why yeah. a perception was created in your mind as if I'm trying to explain everything yeah. about yeah. the consciousness. But still, there are mysterious things out there. Yeah. And I'm proposing no theory for this. And thank you for asking this question because I clarified my point. Because theory is a very, very different thing as far as science is concerned. And cut, please. Good. Good, that's great. Yeah.